welcome to Kennedy K. Today, guys, we are going to be talking about all of my postpartum essentials because I did a little video a little bit ago about just my experience postpartum, and let me tell you, I have some of the best things that help me so, so much. And these are either from tips from my mom, I've seen from different friends that have given me advice on things, and I figured out some things. I even found some stuff that I liked from TikTok. So I just wanna share all the stuff that I had in one big video that I love, and that if you are going to have a baby soon, I highly, highly recommend these things. So. Let's get going. First things first, I just want to say I'm obviously a new mom, so I don't know everything, but these are just something from my experience that I really, really like, so I just wanted to share with you guys. So, let's get going. First, let's talk about down there care, if that makes sense. I had a vaginal birth, so I don't know everything about anything with a C-section, but these are some things that really helped me from my vaginal birth. I did tear, so I feel like I definitely needed a few other extra things. If you don't tear, I don't think you need maybe as much stuff. I don't really know, but from my experience, the first thing that I really really liked were the Frida boxer shorts. They look like this right here These things were the best. They were super comfy I also really like adult diapers, which is so weird to say online Especially to so many people, but these are really helped me pads are great But this is kind of nice because you can just easily slip it on and it's so quick Especially your first few weeks you when you go to the bathroom It's like 20 minutes to 30 minutes where you're just having to prep all this stuff and get all these things And so it was nice to be able to have just something that was quick and easy So I really like these Frida boxer ones or these ones here from like always. I also liked the diapers better for nighttime um, just because they're thicker. And then I used the Frida shorts more during the day and those were just a little bit thinner and they kind of felt more like underwear instead of a diaper, which is great. Yes, we get to match with our babies, which is fun, but it's hard to sometimes find clothes that cover diapers when you're wearing them throughout the day. So it was nice to have those Frida shorts. Next, I got the Frida Peri bottle and I liked this so much better than the one I got from the hospital. The hospital one is great, but the Frida one was nice because it was able to like put more water in there and and the way you can angle it is a lot easier. So I really like this as well. The next thing I really, I loved, I use these Frida ice packs, but you also can make some. I didn't know this, but you can make some at home as well and then put them in your freezer. I really liked the Frida ones because they were instant cold and you didn't have to put them in the freezer, but they are a little more pricier. So there's options where you can make your own. And also there's reusable ones that I also liked that I did use personally as well. So I like all three of these. They were so nice to have, especially when you have torn and it just is nice to be able to have something that is a little cooling and refreshing. Another thing that I would highly, highly recommend is a sense bath. I had no idea what this was and I feel like no one talks about it, but I found out about it in my birth class and I'm so grateful that I got it. It looks like this. It's like a little bath that you can just sit in and it helps soften your stitches, which is really nice. And I would switch off between a sense bath and or uh, the ice pack um, every other time I would go to the bathroom. And this helped me a lot and I feel like it helped healing a ton. And the sits bath softened my stitches. It also helped me to feel a little bit cleaner. Highly, highly recommend a sits bath as well. The next two things are things that you can get at the hospital which is the best and it's dermaplast which is like a spray and then tux pads that you can put on as well these both were life-changing things that helped me a ton with recovery so I highly recommend both of these usually you put on your little boxers or your diaper and or your pad and then you basically put your dermaplast on the tux pad you can put your ice pack on if you want or you can do your sits pad or you had just previously done your sits bath and you put all those things on and then that just helps a lot for healing and it feels a lot better it's a lot calming because it can be really painful especially after having a baby so I highly highly recommend those I loved all of that stuff okay so that's everything that I really like from down there comment down below anything else you really like especially to help those who are about to have baby because we're all best friends here and I'm very grateful for all the help and tips I've already received next we're gonna talk about our chest area and for breastfeeding because the holy cow that's also a whole ordeal that I had no idea about so first things first nipple cream is the best it's very sensitive it helps a ton. I also really preferred my nipple shield as well. That's just something that you can also use to breastfeed and it just kind of protects your nipple a little bit better and I really liked that but a lot of people don't like it so totally up to you guys of what you want to do with that but I really like mine as well. Another thing I really enjoyed for breastfeeding was my boppy and I still enjoy it now like this and it's just a pillow that you can like sit at your arms on and hold the baby while like feeding and that helped me a ton especially in the beginning where I was exhausted and didn't really know how to breastfeed 
feed. It was nice to kind of have something there that was like supporting me and helping me kind of figure out how to hold the baby while I'm breastfeeding. Another thing I'd recommend if you're about to have a baby, I only got like five nursing bras. It was just like in a little pack from Amazon, but I would recommend getting more because you get breast milk all over. And sometimes it's just hard. You can't control it. Either you leak or what you're feeding, it just leaks onto you. It spills on you. There's just a lot of things. And so I would highly recommend getting a few more nursing bras just because it's so nice to have a clean one and because breast milk can be sticky sometimes and I can't be doing laundry every like hour or so or every day sometimes it's hard to continue and keep up on that so it's nice to have a few extra just in case anything happens. I also really liked having breast shells which you can put on it's like kind of like a pad that you would put on after you're done breastfeeding and it's like throughout the day but instead of just soaking up the milk and being able to just like throw it away or having to throw it away it collects your milk and you can and save it and store it for later. So I did this for when I had colostrum and I was able to keep some of my colostrum, which was nice. And also I do this with breast milk and so I don't have to pump as much. I really like it, it's nice and it like protect your chest a little bit better so it's not hurting as bad. So anyway, I really like breast shells. I got mine from Amazon and they were pretty cheap. It looked like this, they're great. I highly recommend them. Another thing I would highly recommend is a pump, obviously. When you're breastfeeding, sometimes it's you might have to skip a time or you just want to get extra milk. Pump is super great to have. And also my insurance paid for it and I'm sure a bunch of insurances pay for it and you can just get a prescription from your doctor. So it's easier because pumps can be so expensive. So it was nice to be able to take a little like, money off the baby expenses. I got this one, I really like it. I don't have to hold anything. I can just put it in my bra and so I can just do other things while I'm pumping. So yeah, I liked this one a lot but there's a ton of great options to so just do your research and you can figure out what works best for you and your lifestyle. Next thing that I really like, Frida, I'm not sponsored by them at all, but they just have a lot of good options, especially just at your grocery store. But I had this Frida lactation massager and this helped me a ton when all of my milk came in. You can massage more of like your pec area and or it will help massage if you have any clogged milk ducts. It helps just with letting your milk down. I really liked it and I feel like I didn't have any pain because of it because I just did it consistently and it helped a ton just to feel better and I feel like it brought my milk down really quickly. So highly recommend this tool right here. I use it whenever I'm feeling really like heavy or uncomfortable. It's nice to have. Next we have silicone pads. These are really nice because they're reusable and I can use them over and over again instead of just having a cloth that gets wet. I really like this one from Amazon. My mom, she bought them for me for Christmas and I really like this brand. I haven't really tried any others but I like this one a lot. I really enjoyed it. I still like them a lot. I feel like I don't leak nearly as much when I'm using these and also just nice to have something that's reusable and not having to continue to buy a bunch of bunch of like little pads. So highly recommend these. Last thing I would recommend that this is something I did not think about at all for when I was preparing for birth and everything, but breastfeeding friendly clothes. I thought about it at the hospital that I'll have like a robe and stuff that are like buttoned down, but I didn't think about like other clothes items because you're only in the hospital and wearing PJs for like a few days. And I guess actually a few weeks because you want to recover and everything else. But now I've invested in a lot of zip up stuff just because it just gets the job done quicker, which is nice. And I don't have to like take off my shirt or like lift everything up and like your whole torso is being shown, especially if you're like trying breastfeed in public, it's really easy just to do zip or an unbutton, feed your baby really quick, and then get back to your normal life. So highly recommend also investing in a few more items that are breastfeeding friendly in your wardrobe. Okay, and then these are other just random things that I really liked that helped me to like rejuvenate a little bit. After I had to come home after giving birth and everything else, my mom brought me some just fresh body wash that was just lavender smelling and it's supposed to be rejuvenating and I feel like it really was. She brought me a brand new body wash and then she bought me a bunch of different like body brushes and like uh, sponges and that helped me feel so much better and also I have like tape left on my back from my epidural and so it was kind of nice to like be able to kind of scrub it off with that and not and be able to scrub my back and just like get all clean and it just was really rejuvenating and that was just like the best shower of my life and I use it now like every day just to kind of freshen up and get cleaner and it's nice to kind of scrub yourself and get all clean so I highly recommend a body wash and then also these brushes it's just from like the echo tools it's you can just buy it at Walmart or grocery store or wherever you shop it's pretty like consistent with everywhere around that you can get some of these. I love them. They're the best. The next thing I would highly recommend, I'm sure they have some for babies, but I just had leftover from my dog. But they're like puppy pads where you know like your pet can like pee on them 
and then you just can throw them away. I had extra of those because but my dog trained pretty quickly when it came to body training. But I, so I had a bunch of leftovers, so I started using those underneath my baby while he is changing. And it's so nice to have, especially when you're a little bit later in postpartum and you're being able to travel and stuff and you're like going to restaurants and things like that and you don't want to just have your basic pad getting all gross. It's nice to have those and you can just easily get your little puppy pad. I don't know what else to call it, but I'm sure they have baby ones too. Get your puppy pad, clean up all their diaper, everything else, and you just go and throw it away and then you don't have to worry about putting it back in your bag where it's all gross and you don't have to sanitize it as much. I highly recommend it. I like them a lot. It was just nice to have, especially while we were going to restaurants or we had to travel for a little bit for house stuff and that was kind of crazy, but it was really nice to have those so I can kind of keep the germs away and I don't put them back in my diaper bag. Another thing I would highly recommend that I didn't think about is a lot of burp cloths. I thought I would be okay with like five, but no, they get wrecked so fast and it's hard to keep up on them, especially with laundry and everything else. So I'd highly recommend getting a bunch of burp cloths because that will save your life and make your life a thousand times better. Next thing that's helped me a ton, especially in the beginning of breastfeeding at night, was having a lot of high protein snacks available. So I just had a lot of different like nuts and I had protein shakes in the fridge ready to easily grab if needed. This helped me a ton while breastfeeding and I feel like it still helps me now because I still have them. But it's nice to have something that you can like eat because you get hungry at night, but also it's nice to have some high protein. That helps you to continue to heal your body, but also make more milk and everything else so I highly recommend getting some more high protein snacks because those are the best especially at night I don't know what it is about high protein snacks at night but chef's kiss chef's kiss and last thing that I would highly recommend especially breastfeeding at night is this little night light. I liked it because it, it's not too strong because you want a light that you can see everything so you can change your diaper, that you can see for breastfeeding and everything else. But I didn't want something that was too strong that would wake up me and the baby a ton. So it's nice to have this that's a little bit softer and I can carry it around with me so I don't wake up my husband as much either. And or when he does the same when we switch, it's nice because he doesn't wake me up as much. So this is really nice to have. I liked this one. Again, you can find something that works better for you, but this one was just on Amazon and I liked it a lot. Anyway, those are all of my postpartum essentials that I loved. Okay, wait. There's one thing left that I have that I need to tell you guys about that I forgot. Last thing, as I've been using this my entire pregnancy, it's Elastin skincare stuff. I had a family friend recommend it to me for um, stretch marks, and I've been using it after for postpartum and just rubbing it on my belly. It's kind of pricey, but this helped me a ton. I only have like two tiny little stretch marks, and I'm the kind of girl that has gets stretch marks so easy. I have them all over my legs from growing, from my high school and everything else, and so I was really nervous about it. And obviously, stretch marks are gonna happen, and it's totally fine, it's normal. But I feel like this has helped me a ton and has saved my life when it comes to making my stomach feel a little better. So I really like this, highly recommend it. Anyway, that is it guys for my postpartum essentials. Thank you so much and let me know if you, I'm missing anything or things that you really like, comment down below. I love you all. I'll see you guys later, bye.